Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this epic screw based text animation using GSAP split text in Elementor. And mind you, this effect is achievable using the Elementor free version and the Elementor Pro version. So at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to achieve it. This is what we're going to achieve at the end of this tutorial. Okay, so now when you scroll up onto this point, you now see your text display like that. And then goes back, the next text comes in like this. And then the next text comes in like that and like this and the final text and now you continue scrolling when you go back up goes back the same way like that and mind you this effect is responsive on all devices and we can check that out on tablet using our simulator okay on tablet now when we scroll down on tablet this is where we get the same effect working perfectly as you can see Okay, and you go back up, the same thing happens. And we can also check it out on mobile. On, on mobile, this is what we have on mobile, as you can see. Okay, so without further delay, let's dive in and get started. So in our Elementor editing container, I've already taken the time out to create two containers to serve as our screw space. And this is the top screw space and then the bottom screw space. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to add a container between these two containers where we'll add our effect. So I'll select this and then select the flashbox container, select the structure here. Come over to the style option and for the typography, I'll set it to classic and then give it the color black. Then I'll go back here, add element and select the container widget. So now the container widget is within this container widget. So for reference purposes, I'm going to rename this one here and I'll call this one here our title box. And then I'm going to call this one here our title wrapper. All right. So for the title wrapper, I'll go over under the layout. I'll justify content to the center and then align items to the center. Then I'll go back here, click on the add element and select the heading widget and drop it here. Okay, so for the heading text, I'll just come over here to the text that I've written out to speed up this work. So I'll just copy this out and then I'll paste this as our first text. Come over to the style option and then tweak it a little bit. Now for the alignment, I'm going to set it to the center typography. Font family, I'm going to set the font family to patois 1. And you can set whatever font family you want depending on the project you're working on. Okay, so for the font size, I'll set it to unit to REM and then give it a value of 5 REM. Then come over here, color, I set the color to white. Now, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to set the responsiveness for this text on other screens. So for tablet mode, I'm going to come over here, font size, I'm going to set it to 3 REM. And then for mobile, I'm going to come over here and set it to 1.5 RM. Now you can set whatever font size you want for the various screens, depending on the, your project. Like I said, it all depends on what you want. Okay, so now we've done that. Now the next thing I'll do here is I'll just duplicate this heading five times. You can duplicate yours multiple times depending on the content you have. That is the text sentence you want to display. Okay, but for this case, I'm just going to make use of five. So come over to the second one. And then copy this text here. And then I'll replace this. Come over to the next one. And then I'm going to copy this out. And I'm going to replace this here. This is a little bit longer. So you see that the effect also works on long text as well. Okay. So uh, I'll come over here. Copy this one here. And then I'll replace it here. And then I'll come over here. And then I'll copy this one here and then I'll replace this. Now you see we all have we have all our text complete like this. You can see this is what we have. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add classes to the various uh text we've added here. Okay, so for the first test here, I'm gonna go to my code editor. We have written down the codes and then the various classes we'll be using. 
Okay, as you can see, so now we're going to add title words here. Okay, to, the, to this class here, come over to the advanced settings and add title word to the class. The next container, we're going to do the same here, add the title word. The next one, I'm also going to add title word. That is all the text here, all the heading text is going to have the class title word. Okay, and then finally, title word. Okay, so now we've done that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another class. However, this class will only be added to the second um, heading text. Okay, so that is the first heading text will not have this class. The second heading text and the rest of the heading text will have that class. Okay, and the class is, um, come over here, we're going to give a space here and I'm going to add the class on scene. Okay, now this on scene class we're going to add it. The reason for this class is so that the text, other text will be hidden until they are screwed to the point where they need to be visible. Okay. So that's all we're doing. So we just added it. Just give a little space and then add a class on scene. Okay. Right. So now that we've done that, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over here to our title box container and then we're going to give it a class. Okay. Come over to the advanced settings and then give it a class title box okay and then for the title wrapper we're also going to go to the advanced settings and come over here and give it a class as well title wrapper okay so now we're done adding the various class to all our elements what we're going to do next is just scroll down here to the bottom and add another container here and then come over to add element and search for the html widget okay and then I'm just going to draw this HTML widget here. Now I'll head over to my code editor. Now, like I said earlier, this particular effect works for those that are using the Elementor free version and those that are using the Elementor pro version. But if you're using the Elementor pro version, all you just need to do is to copy from here where this starts, this dot here starts, and then you copy out and then end it here. And you come back here. Now under this HTML, you go to the advanced settings, come down to it, we have the custom CSS, and then you paste your the CSS here, just like that, okay? However, for those of us that are making use of the Elementor free version, all you just need to do is to come over here and you're going to copy from here, this tie option here, scroll down, you're going to copy everything with the GSAP code, that is the JavaScript code, you're just going to copy it all, and then you're going to come back here, and then you're going to paste it here, okay? So now we've pasted everything here and you can see this is what we'll have here, but not to worry about this is, uh, yep. So that is it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to come over here, click on publish. Okay. Now I'm going to click on preview. So now that we've previewed it, now we'll scroll down. You're going to see something happen here and you can say, welcome to the creative arena. We're still scrolling where design meets creativity and expectations are met with realization. You are in the right place. And then check out our works below and you scroll down. Okay, when you go back up, it's going to go happen in reverse like that and like this. Okay. So you can see this is a wonderful effect you can use to stylize your website. And it's responsive on all devices. Now we're going to go back here and I'm just going to show you some little tweaks. So we'll come over to the JavaScript section here. Now we're going to come down to here. We'll have this section here. Let's just expand this. Let's expand this and come over here. Now you can see here, it's written here that change end, change to end if you want it to disappear from back to front. So now we have start here. What this means is that if you come back here, when you scroll, you're going to see it goes from the left back and then like that. However, if you want to do it in, in reverse, whereby it fades from the reverse form, you just need to just come over here and change this option here, this start, change it to end. Okay, and then we'll click on publish. 
Okay, so now we're going to notice the difference. Now when we scroll, you can see now welcome to, and then it goes back the same way it come, and then like that. So the, whichever direction you want your fitting effect to take place, you can set it either to the start or to the end, okay? And then you have this wonderful effect like that. So that's pretty much it about this tutorial. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm to suggest this video to other people as well. And feel free to drop your comment wherever you're confused and I'll do well to attend to as much as I can. And remember, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. But until then, see you on our next video. Bye-bye.